hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new please subscribe that's the only way that you are going to get notified when we post new content if you're already a subscriber welcome back please like this video you do not lose anything but you help to keep me motivated to make more videos share more content all for free by the way if you are looking to download forex systems forex robots forex strategies indicators books and stuff like that all for free there are links in the description box below visit those blogs and see if you cannot find what you are looking for sometimes people come and request things that are already on the blogs don't be that person go through the blogs and see if you cannot find what you're looking for then if you still cannot find what you're looking for you can always come back and leave a request in the comment section below and i promise to certainly make an effort to find the thing for you after downloading the forex systems robots indicators certainly you want to test them in real market conditions before giving them all your hard-earned cash the links are in the description box below for the broker that i use you can actually deposit five dollars ten dollars into your account just to test the robot just to test the indicator or the system to see if it makes money before you actually go all in so visit the broker that i use and open an account you don't lose anything it's just a five dollar account a ten dollar account if you are struggling with anything concerning your forex trading if you have questions if you have challenges if you have topics that you want me to make videos on leave them in the comment section below and i'll certainly make a video on your question i've been there and i wish when i started i would have come across a channel like this where they were just sharing information for free so go ahead and like this video subscribe if you are not yet subscribed uh, share the video with your friends let's get into today's topic in this video we are going to talk about things that you need to have in your trading plan you know what they say if you do not plan you plan to fail so uh, there are things that you need to have in your plan you'll be surprised that there are so many traders out there who are just joining the markets placing trades and they've got no plan whatsoever that's why we've got so many people blowing accounts we've got so many people being scammed being promised things because they don't have a plan in the first place they do not have a trading plan every trader needs to have a plan it doesn't need to be something spectacular it doesn't need to be something spectacular you are not building a rocket or a spaceship but it needs to be something that can help you as you navigate the markets because let's fix it the markets are not moved by your uncle or are not moved by your grandfather they are not moved from a house so the market is a beast that is moved by somebody out there you need to have a plan on how you can tackle it then uh, yeah certainly you can always uh, start with a plan and you can tweak it as you go along and you learn new things so what are some of the things that you need to have in your trading plan first of all and most importantly is risk management risk management i always talk about risk management i always tell people as a forex trader as a trader you are not a money making machine but first of all you are a risk manager you need to manage your risk that's the only way that you're going to ensure that you are going to be here tomorrow otherwise if you blow your account today because you are reckless you might not be here today and you might not eventually last in the forex trading industry so risk management know how much you are risking per trade know how much lot size you are going to be using per trade that's important point number two you need to know how long you are going to be holding trades for you know there are traders out there who can hold a losing trade for months and a winning trade they can only hold it for a few seconds 
shocking eh uh we've all done it i've done it i've uh since grown out of that uh, certainly and i know many traders who do that they let their losers run instead of keeping their winners and they quickly cut their winners short so you need to determine how long you will hold your trades for if it's losing you money if how, how long is enough if it's making you money it's also important that you be able to set targets for your entries don't just place entries and hope and pray that things will work out you need to obviously have targets so determine how long you will hold trades for it goes for losing trades and it goes for winning trades then importantly again you need to understand to know which currency pairs you are going to be trading i get shocked when i see traders have got uh, 28 pairs on their charts they've got 100 pairs i don't know if uh, they are brokers with 100 pairs but anyway the point is you have traders who have got everything on their charts and they are jumping around all these forex pairs like nobody's business these currencies guys have got characteristics they've got behaviors they're like people you need to invest your time to understand these currencies that's why you are getting your hands bent because you don't understand how these currencies move so you need from the onset decide which few currencies i always recommend five five and below if you must well five but if you want to listen to my recommendation i think three is enough find three pairs that suit you three pairs that you love and understand those pairs be a master of those three pairs but if you still like to have other options then you can certainly bring that to five and that's enough that's all you need i know people who make money with only a single pair because that person knows the ins and outs of that pair they don't need another pair they only know how to trade gold they only know how to trade gbp jpy they only know how to trade gbp usd and you you are sitting there with your 40 currency pairs guys determine which currency pairs you are going to be trading then uh last point is decide whether you are a person who loves volatility or you're a person who doesn't like uh, uh, the volatility you are a person who loves maybe currencies that move slowly uh, that do not uh, respond to news uh, you know uh, maybe you don't like gold you don't like euro usd you don't like gbp usd but you like some other currencies that uh, really move slow and they are like predictable so uh, think about it are you a person who wants their money now or you're a person who is able to wait it out are you a person who wants their money now or a person who's able to wait it out if you're a person who of course who wants their money now if you've got targets then certainly you want to be trading the volatile pairs but if you're a person who is more like uh chilled and slow you certainly then go for the pairs that really don't move that much but they move they just don't move as fast but they do move so yeah i hope this helps you have a plan don't just get into the market blindly have a plan like this video subscribe if you're not yet subscribed until next time bye